actually in my, my band room, my studio that I have at my house, and I was working on some other stuff, and I actually have another channel that I do that has to do with music, and I figured I'd just shoot a fishing video in the drum room today, so stay tuned, because we are going to talk about um, why I left Vibe, and we're going to talk about sponsorships, so let's get into this. <laughs> Yes, I'm going to do this video behind this drum kit because I'm hanging out in my studio and I'm doing some recording and shooting some videos for my other channel that I run, which is uh, Rock Talk 101. If you guys want to check it out, it's something I just started. Um, it's talking about gear reviews, interviewing bands, and just talking about all kinds of stuff that I like to talk about that um, I, I can't necessarily talk about on my fishing channel. So uh, <laughs> anyway, let's get into this. So um, for those of you that don't know, um, I am no longer with Vibe Kayaks. I am not on their pro staff anymore. I left them. And uh, I want to talk about why I left. And I also want to talk about sponsorships in general. For those of you that are trying to get sponsored by people and trying to get picked up. And, and some things you need to think about when you do it. So um, we'll address the elephant in the room. And the elephant is, yes, I left Vibe. I am no longer with Vibe Kayaks. Um, it has nothing to do with the kayaks themselves. I think they're great kayaks. I will still recommend them to people because they are a really good budget-friendly kayak that does the job. I still have a few of my Vibe kayaks. I will be keeping them um, because I do like them and um, um, I'm going to keep using them. But one of the reasons why I decided to leave is because um, I've been with them for a little bit and uh, a bunch of new kayaks have come out recently that I really want to try out. And I, I really want to get into and me with me being uh injured and having the type of injuries that i have which i'm not going to get into that either but uh um i need very stable stable kayaks and and the vibe kayaks have been great i mean i i they're stable kayaks i'm not saying they're not but um i want something even a little more stable and so i've been looking at some other kayak companies and look at some other setups and other things and on top of the fact is that um one of the problems with um some of the vibe stuff is they still sit too low and i have a back injury. One of the injuries I do have is a very bad back injury and I have 12 inch rods in my back and so it's hard getting in and out of certain kayaks and I've been looking at kayaks that have a more comfortable seat. Not that the Vibe Kayaks comfortable seat, seat is not comfortable because it is. It very much is but um, they have ones that sit higher on certain kayaks that I think might be better on me and um, between that and, and some of the other kayaks that have come out that I really really want to try out and go fish I just didn't really want to be tied to one company and um, I just decided that that was one of my deciding factors is that, you know, I wanted to be able to fish out of whatever kayak I want to fish out of. And um, I have another sponsorship with a company that actually sells a bunch of different types of kayaks. And he actually sells a lot of kayaks that I really want to get into and try. And so I'm going to, and he sells Vibes as well, but uh, I want to start um, um, using, trying out a bunch of the kayaks that he sells, a bunch of different ones. And, and fishing out of some different boats. So that was the one thing that made me decide to leave. And and I don't have any 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 ill will or anything towards Vibe or anything because Vibe was super good to me. They were awesome to me. They treated me well. They took care of me. Um, the people that worked there, I mean, um, um, Erica Delena is an amazing gal. Um, um, she really um, just took care of me, has done thing, and I can't remember some of the, the other gals there that helped me out, but um, there's a lot of people that work there behind the scenes that are really awesome. The pro staff people that I met in, in the process of being there, really awesome, and um, I don't have anything bad to say, so I mean, they were really good to me. Um, there were some um, issues that came up that um, I had to make a choice on whether um, I stay with them and, and not speak my mind about things I wanted to talk about or I leave them so I can talk about the things I really want to talk about because this gets into sponsorships. There's certain sponsorships and there's a lot of them that um, there's certain subjects that they just don't want you to, to touch on, you know, and a lot of that's because they, they, their market is to everybody and they don't really want you 
picking sides and things like that. And um, they definitely, um, a lot of them frown on you if you have any political opinions. Um, I am not a political guy. I personally hate politics, and I think all politicians suck. And um, I, I don't care for them. Uh, I, I, I served my country honorably for my pretty much my whole life, and I retired from the military. And so I love this country, and I love the freedoms that we have, and I fought for those freedoms. And um, I put my life in line. I almost died for those freedoms. And uh, um, in the process of that, there's some things that have happened in, in the recent uh, months that I could not not speak out about. And because of that, um, Vibe wasn't happy with me. And uh, they asked me to tone it down. And I totally understand why they asked me to tone it down. But um, I, in good conscience, could not do that. And so um, I had a really good long talk with Michael Davis, who I think is an amazing guy. And I hope that him and I get to fish one day together. And uh, I hope we get to do some stuff together because I think he's super awesome. We had a great talk. Um, he is a veteran as well. And, uh, um, but for me, I, I just couldn't sit around and stay silent. That's not who I am. I've been a guy that's a fighter. I run into the fight and, and, and help people and do the right thing. And I, in good conscience, just couldn't sit there and not say anything. With things that are happening now, I couldn't hold my tongue anymore. I just, I, I couldn't do it. Um, it. It's not something that I do. Now, I don't try to get into political stuff, but this stuff had to deal directly with military people and who I consider my brothers and sisters and family. And um, I couldn't not say something about it. And there's a lot of things going on now that I feel that we all need to speak up about. And you have to make your decisions of what you want to do. And for those of you guys that have sponsors, um, my biggest thing in my, my life, and I will tell you this, is all about honor, integrity, loyalty, trust, and selflessness. And me in good conscience, um, I can't go against those for anybody, whether it be a company I'm sponsored for or anything else. And when I feel like you need to stand up and say something, then I feel like you need to be a man and stay, stand up and say something. And if that um, sacrifices certain things to do the right thing, well, then that's what you do because that's what I've done all my life. So I had to um, make a decision, and I made a decision, and I told Michael, I, me and him had a good long talk, and I told him why. And, you know, he understood, and uh, I, I walked away from him. I, 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 I told him all I was going. I, I'm very much appreciative for everything they've done for me, and I don't want any of you guys to get it wrong. Uh, vibe was really good to me, you know, and I got nothing bad to say about Miriam or Josh or anybody that works there because they were great to me and they make a great product and if you like vibe you should get vibe so don't get this wrong what I'm saying I'm just telling you this is why I'm not there anymore you know and and it wasn't anything personal it was just something that I had to make a choice and do because of my honor and integrity and standing up what I feel is right as every one of us has a point in time where there's a line that somebody crosses and when they step across that line, you've got to step up and, and do something about it. And that's what I felt I had to do. And that's what I'm doing now. So um, I'm fortunate enough that there's, you know, I have some other sponsors that are very much okay with what I'm doing. And um, they're not having issues with it. And I'm very thankful for those sponsors. And you guys know who you are. So thank you very much for, for that. I do understand um, Vibe's stance on it because they don't want drama. They, their big thing is no drama, just adventure. So I get that. I was not trying to create any drama or draw drama to them, but honor and integrity is everything to me. And standing up for, for my men and women in, in, in uniform that I've fought alongside for, and, and I've lost a lot of friends over the years that have fought and died for this country, and seeing them being treated or used as pawns um, is not okay with me. And I won't be silent, and all my brothers and sisters out there, um, and, and good friends of mine that have served and are still serving, are not being silent. So um, you got to stand up. There's a point in time you got to stand up, and, and you got to make those sacrifices. And in the process of that, some things are going to go away, and new, thing, new doors are going to open. So that's how I looked at it. You know, this is going to go away, but new doors are going to open. I want to keep my friendship with Vibe and with those people with Vibe because, again, I think they're great people. I think they do a really great job, and they really try to take care of everybody. And, again, I don't have anything bad to say. Um, they were really good to me, but um, I had to make a choice. So... 
that's that. That's done. Love you guys at Vibe and, and keep rolling on strong and keep putting out a decent product that people can afford because that's a good thing to do. Um, let's talk about um, sponsorships though and getting sponsors. So when you guys are out there and wanting to get sponsored and figure out who you want to sponsor or get sponsored by, this is stuff you have to think about because they have things that they expect of you and they have things that they're going to tell you that you can and can't do. And you're going to have to ask yourself, can you abide by the, the, the rules and stuff? And most of it is not a problem. Most of it, with a lot of them, is no big deal. But, you know, um, if you're kind of an outspoken person like me that doesn't just sit around and, and let crap happen and watch the world just go to crap and not do nothing about it, um, that's a hard pill to swallow, and it means that it's going to limit some of the sponsorships that I'll probably end up having. Um, sponsorships are nice. I love the sponsors that I do have because they are great to me, and they're really good to me, and I, I like how they take care of me, and hopefully I can keep working with them. Um, I don't want a bunch of sponsors, I just want a few good sponsors um, because I want to keep making videos and the sponsors help me um, be able to do that through um, discounts and things that they give me through my sponsorships. So um, I will just tell you that make sure you understand what you're getting into when you decide to get sponsored by a company and what you're willing to do and what you're not willing to do when you do it because there are things that you do need to do. They expect you to do a lot of social media and things like that, so you're going to have to work harder. I mean, it, it is it does become kind of like a job when you're doing it. I love fishing and filming. I do it, and I started this whole thing in the first place because I wanted to do something to help me with my PTSD, and I wanted to be able to talk about what I do when I'm out there fishing, and hopefully showing you the videos, baits I'm using, and how I'm catching the fish, and the times of years, and everything is helping you guys out to learn more about products that are out there that you may not know about, and be able to catch more fish. That's the whole thing, and it's therapy for me. You know, it's therapy for me to be able to do it, and the people that support this channel, thank you. I love you guys. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for being supportive. And um, I really appreciate it. Hopefully this channel will keep growing and hopefully people will keep learning about fishing. And hopefully I can get to fish with some of you guys because I'd love to meet some of you guys and love to be able to go out fishing with you. Like I said, I've got some kayaks. I'll take you down the river. Um, I'll even take you out on my little boat and take you to some cool places and we'll go do some fishing. So if you live close to me in the Virginia area, Charlottesville, Virginia area and stuff, shoot me a message and hopefully we can hook up and go do some fishing. So, um, But that's pretty much that. It's my short and sweet spiel. Um, I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I hope you guys are still out there catching some fish. Um, we're starting to get a little bit of a warm day here, warm day here. We've had some crazy, it's crazy. Today's like 60 degrees outside, but it was like 20 degrees like two days ago here, and it snowed and had ice. But So it's crazy. I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to get out to fish today, but I might try to go cast the line. Maybe I can get a fishing video in. Maybe I can catch a fish. Maybe not. Um, but we will see. But that's what's been going on with me. Um, I'm hopefully going to be fishing out of maybe a new kayak, a different type of kayak this spring. Um, I'm working on that right now. I'm trying to decide which one I want to go with. Um, I have some options. I will tell you, I'm looking at New Canoe. I'm looking at Bonafide. I'm looking at Old Town. I'm looking at Crescent, um, just to name a few. Uh, oh, and I'm also looking at um, 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 Native. Um, those are the ones that have really piqued my interest. So those are the ones that I'm looking into right now. And we'll see. I don't know what I'm going to end up with, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up with a new kayak this summer. So uh, hopefully I do, and hopefully we can get out there and test it out, and I'll tell you what I think. So um, with that being said, that's all I got for you guys. Um, welcome to my, my, my music studio, and you get to see a different part of what I do in my life. And uh, you guys, just do me a favor. Hit that like button, that subscribe button, that ding-dong button. All those things you got to do for you. Share, all that good stuff, because that helps me out. And then just do yourself a favor. Get out there. Get your lines wet and catch some fish.